Normally, manual channel values will be overridden by incoming move instructions from queues. Capture provides some ways to preserve the manual state of channels and parameters during playback. Let's go ahead and pop back out into live. And why don't we recall snapshot one? So for this example, we are going to go to Q1, enter. The first way we can use capture is a temporary channel selection. Let's go ahead and type one through 10 at 30. Go ahead and clear your command line and press go to go into Q2. If you look at channels one through 10, you'll notice that any channel with an incoming move instruction has been overwritten with that move instruction. However, our remaining channels are still at their manual value because they didn't have a move instruction in this queue. The manual channels will remain in that state until they receive a move instruction from a queue or until we manually change them again. We're going to run that same example with one small change. So let's go to Q1 again. We'll say one through 10 at 30. This time we are not going to clear our command line and go ahead and press go. Since those channels are still temporarily captured on our command line, no move instructions will overwrite those channels. Let's go ahead and go back to Q1. This time we are going to use our capture command to specifically capture those channels. So we will say one through 10 at 30, capture, enter. In addition to now being manual, you'll see that those channels have a small C in their tile. This means that those channels are captured and will remain captured until we uncapture them. So here, if we clear our command line and press go, because we've captured those channels, no move instructions are going to be able to take those over. Normally, manual channels would be removed with a go to queue command. If we say go to queue, enter, but since those are captured, again, they will remain so until we uncapture them. We can still use record, record only, and update to gather captured data. For example, if we say update, enter, those manual channels have now been updated into this queue. However, they are still going to be manual until we uncapture them. We can continue to control them manually. For example, one through 10 at 75, sneak enter. Those will sneak to that value in the default sneak time and remain manual. To remove this capture, our syntax is one through 10, capture, enter. They will remain manual here, but will now behave as standard uncaptured manual data. So from here, if we clear our command line and press go, any incoming move instructions will overwrite those channels. Since channel 10 never received a move instruction, we can go ahead and sneak enter to get rid of that data. The final way we can use capture is with a mode called latch capture. Latch capture will take any currently manual data and capture it, as well as take any additional data added after that is enabled and capture that as well. Let's make a few things manual before we turn it on. So six plus seven, full enter. And now I wanna grab my stage left boom fixtures. So those are 151 through 154. And let's go ahead and make those manual with our soft key there, enter. I clear my command line. And now to enable latch capture, I simply double hit my capture button, which will put capture enable on the command line and press enter. So you can see those channels are captured as are the first couple of channels that have manual data. Like everything in the desk, we can interact with our direct selects and magic sheets for this feature. Let's go ahead and recall snapshot four. And we are going to grab our high sides left here, put those at full. And our live display, you'll see that as soon as they come on, they are also captured with those C's there. I'm gonna to touch the light blue direct select. Notice that non-intensity parameters are captured in exactly the same way as intensity parameters. So from here, if we press go, we'll simply go into our next queue and none of our captured channels will be affected, whether or not they had move instructions in this queue. Let's go ahead and clear our command line. 
To disable latch capture, we double tap capture again and press enter. And from here, we can just sneak enter to release all of our manual data.